Hey, Peter, I need eight uh, HC of plywood and uh, ten two-by-fours on the other side of the dock. Who's got a sign for this? Hey, John, to get it. Whoa. Oh. Uncle Dog? Hey. I can't believe you're here in Los Angeles. And I can't believe you almost hit my foot. Boy, you know I can't be getting all excited. My high blood pressure and bad kidneys. Don't you be dropping nothing by my foot. Sorry, Uncle Dog. I'm, I'm just glad to see you. Hey, look, I gotta get back to work. Come by the house later on. Okay, I sure will. <laughs> All right. I see you then. All right, now. Uncle Dog, why are you limping? I didn't hit your foot. Well, when you dropped the lumber by my foot, it scared him so bad, they went in the house. <laughs> <laughs> she crazy, Uncle Dog. <laughs> I see you later. <laughs> you take care. <laughs> I ain't coming in no more. Y'all trying to kill me. <laughs> Enjoy over here! Alright, coming! <laughs> Uncle Dog. Uncle Dog. Uncle Dog. Joe, you wanna take some of that bass out your voice when you talk to me? I am your elder. I'm sorry, I just meant. You just what? Oh, uh, Uncle Dog, um, Joe was telling me that you have hypertension also. Oh, yeah. Oh, high blood pressure. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, why do you say that? Yeah, Nisi, uh, I've had high blood pressure for about her, uh, excuse the senile there. About 25 years, yes sir. Oh, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. Joe was just diagnosed with it about three months ago. Mm. But that ain't no surprise. You remember a long time ago that, uh, that group did those genetics from a, uh, 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 Stanford University of Medicine? Well, yeah, you see, they told me if you have that African version signpost, chromosome 6 and 21, then you're most likely to have high blood pressure. Yes, sir. That's why I have this disease? It's been running in my family all the way back to Africa? Boy, now don't go blaming our family tree. If we didn't eat all this rich food, got a lot of exercise, and stayed away from alcohol, and get enough rest at night, we probably could have avoided this disease. So what happened to you, Uncle Dog? Well, I, I messed up. You know, I didn't take my medication the way the doctor told me to and winded up having high blood pressure, kidney disease, and had to have a kidney transplant. Yeah, from what I heard, that was a wasted kidney because you still don't listen to what the doctor said. You see? Now there you go. You all at the basketball game yelling touchdown. Look, I got this, okay? Good, mm. Uncle. <laughs> Go dog, go. you have any good tips that can help me manage my high blood pressure? Of course I do. First of all, make sure you get your exercise. Don't smoke. You, it ain't lit. Hey, you know, stay away from greasy food, you know, like fried, like fried chicken, you know, green with fat back in them, macaroni and cheese, mm. Mm. sweet potato pie, mm, that's mm, red uh, Uncle cake. Dog. Mm. Uncle Dog. Uncle Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, and always take your medication the way your doctor tells you. See, don't do what I did. See, that's what I did. Well, what, what are some of the drugs they prescribe? Oh, see, first of all, your doctor will prescribe you a diuretic. Now, you see, a diuretic raises the body of excess salt and water to lower your blood pressure. There's also beta blockers. Now, beta blockers reduce the heart rate and the heart's output of blood, which lowers blood pressure. Now, depending on your overall condition, the doctor may give you a vasodilator, ACE inhibitors, and or calcium channel blockers. These drugs relax and open narrow blood vessels and lower blood pressure. Okay. Anything else I should know? Yes, sir. Side effects. Now, you need to let your doctor know if you're having side effects. Now, all medication has side effects. Now, don't stop taking your medication to avoid side effects, because that's what I did. But what are some of the side effects? Sluggishness, weakness, tiredness or weakness, cold hands and feet, depression, sleeplessness or trouble falling asleep and or nightmares, skin rash, loss of taste or dry mouth, dry constant cough, stuffy nose, asthma symptoms, ankle swelling, leg cramps or aches in the joints, headache, dizziness, swelling around the eyes, and constipation. And there's also another one that, that you know, you don't really want to know. Oh, tell me. You, mm. really, you, 
you don't want to know. Yeah, yes, I do want to know. The impotence, honey. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not taking that medication. Nope. That's it. That's it. Mm -mm. Sweetheart, now, I would rather have you here with me alive and well rather than dead and buried. Now, you pick up those bottles. And that's for you, Uncle Dog. Mm -hmm. I love you dearly, but it's time to say goodnight. Oh, what? So you kicking me out your house? Listen, sweetheart. Wait. You know what? That's okay. I'm just going on down to that club I seen down the street. You know, hey, <laughs> getting my groove on. <sighs> Sweetheart, I love you. And love isn't about the physical. Now, we're going to do everything that the doctor said. And we're going to pray to the greatest doctor there is. And we will get through this. Right? Precious Lord.